Nice. Moses Lake Spencer Kimbrough was one of the most recruited basketball players in the Northwest, with nearly a dozen Division I schools knocking at his door. I love basketball and that's like my passion. He's a player that's my, one of my starters that I can play the whole game. Next year Spencer will play for the Crimson Tide. Alabama is one of 12 schools in the nation that sponsor wheelchair athletics. There you go. Spencer had always talked about going to Alabama. And you know, when you have a kid in central Washington going, I want to go to Alabama, you go, that's a good dream. <laughs> that's nice. But it's a dream that had a nightmarish start. He wasn't expected to live. And our doctor came in and said, we, we think it's spina bifida. Well, we had seen on the ultrasound that there was a leg missing and some other things going on. And so then they sent us to Spokane. And that's when the doctor up there told us that he wasn't going to live. And that's hard. Um, my dad, see, I never talk about it. <laughs> he looked at the doctor and said, but when he does, she goes, well, he's not. And he goes, but when he does. And he did. Moments after his birth, the family had a decision to make. Doctors suggested they take their newborn to Seattle Children's Hospital. There's just those little moments in time that have changed things. And that one decision to send him to Children's was the biggest decision we ever made. You know, the first thing we get there and, and there's a couple doctors that say, hey, we're going to be the quarterback of everything. Don't worry. You know, we'll, we'll take care of this. And they did. But growing up with a disability can be difficult. Spencer became frustrated about his condition and the way he looked. I had a lot of a lot of issues with uh, talking to people and being around people and just not really feeling like I fit in. So I I was falling into depression. He hated being the disabled kid and his attitude affected his health. At 10, Spencer's lung capacity went down to less than 65 percent and he was back at Children's. And he flatlined three times. And they said, you need to come down here. It was at three in the morning or something like that. And they said, you need to come down here because if he goes again, we can't save him. But once again, they did. Still, Spencer was searching for an identity. I was just really frustrated because growing up, my, I watched my sisters. They played softball. They played soccer, you know, and and I, I haven't done anything. Spencer's life would take a turn when he started competing in sports. It was on these little league fields in Moses Lake where he would begin his athletic career. You know, every year there's a little league draft and there was a coach that he was his number one pick. It was awesome. I made so many friends through that and I think people, people kind of changed the way they looked at me. After little league, Spencer would find Paris Sport in Spokane. Over a three-year span, Spencer won 10 state track championships. He took home silver at the U.S. National Championships and competed at the Pan Am Games. Spencer was becoming an elite para-athlete, but he was also training nearly seven days a week. One. Good job, man. Woo. While Spencer continued to win track medals, he also fell in love with another sport. Find what you enjoy and latch onto that because that's what I've done and that's what has gotten me this far. My mom would always say that God didn't give you anything more than you could handle and it's like, seriously think you overshot this one. <laughs> and just knowing that his whole being was intentional and that there's something else out there for him. In Moses Lake, Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.